The massive Dixie fire in Northern California is now the state's largest standalone fire in history as it spread to more than 700 square miles just over the weekend. The fire has destroyed small towns in the region, several of them including Greenville and Canyon Dam. And as of August 8th, the fire destroyed or damaged at least 589 structures with 14,000 more threatened as a result of this fire. Now, it's important to talk about what sparked this fire. But before we do, of course, a huge part of what has exacerbated the fire, what has led to the conditions that's made this fire so disastrous and difficult to contain is of course, climate change. Now, as of late as of late Sunday night, it had scorched almost 765 square miles south of Sacramento. That's more than two and a half times the size of New York City. It's been burning for 25 days and was only 21% contained. And I just want to talk a little bit about how dry the conditions are because as we've talked about on the show before, the West is dealing with a drought right now. It is a severe drought and that creates conditions that are perfect for this kind of fire, for a fire that's completely out of control and difficult to contain. In fact, Mark Burton, who is with the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection says, quote, the live trees that are out there now have a lower fuel moisture than you would find when you go to a hardware store or lumber yard and get a piece of lumber that's kiln dried. So basically firewood, the live trees are drier than literal firewood. It's that dry, so it doesn't take much for any sort of embers, sparks or small flaming front to get that going. And what sparked this? Well, I'll give you more details in just a minute, but just know that the private utility company PG&E and its awful equipment, which they have failed to upgrade for nearly a century, is likely to have sparked this fire. So another fire that has destroyed entire communities that has been sparked allegedly by PG&E. And I'll give you more details to that in just a second. Um, so corporate negligence is leading to the fires and corporate negligence and, and malfeasance and corruption is making the fires worse. So the first half is through the utilities and the second half is through the fossil fuel companies donating to politicians for inaction. So. Um, the largest fire recorded in California history is last year. The second largest is this year. And by the way, it's only 21% contained. So we'll probably beat the record, unfortunately. Um, and the 20 biggest fires in California history happened in the last 20 years, almost all of them. Um, so climate change is not only real, it's here. It's not later, it's right now when a fires wipe out whole towns at a time in the most prosperous state in America. What would be, I think, the fifth largest economy in the world, one of the richest places on earth. And we're powerless to stop the fires because it's mother nature and it isn't playing. We have no chance at stopping these fires. And we have we made enough money in California? Yes. Is it ever enough for the greedy? No, it's never enough. I'm gonna make another billion dollars fossil fuel executives and uh, shareholders say. Uh, meanwhile, everything's going to burn down. It, look, in the last it, or one of the sets of fires over the last five, couple of years, uh, the Kardashians, they weren't alone, but they're a flamboyant example of it, started hiring private fire departments for extra protection for the rich because, you know, the rich are burning down the planet. Uh, so it's okay, they can save themselves with extra uh, privatized fire departments. And the rest of it, Greenville, you couldn't save yourself because your entire town was burnt to the crisp. No, what's incredible about this is you're right in that the largest fires in California history, the 20 largest fires in California history happened over the last 20 years. We know that this continues to be a huge problem. So climate change is an issue. Privatized, deregulated, greedy private enterprise is a problem, clearly. And then you got the third issue, right? And the third issue, is that we don't we don't have enough firefighters in California. That's a great point. And that is not a mistake. That is by design because the state of California would rather rely on prison labor in order to fight these fires. You literally have prisoners on the front lines fighting these fires. 
And this is how California saves money. Why are we going to hire enough professional firefighters to deal with this? And by the way, those people, those prisoners who later get out of prison and they want to be firefighters, they can't. They won't get hired. They won't get hired because they have a felony on their record. That's the sick system that we're living in. But I want to tell you more about the sick system. Because as I mentioned, PG&E, a private utility company, is likely to blame for what sparked this latest fire. And prosecutors have launched an investigation into PG&E's involvement in this Dixie fire. Because the fire is burning parts of Plumas and Butte counties, both are involved in this investigation. Butte County prosecutors successfully convicted PG&E before of starting the campfire. And of 84 felony counts of manslaughter as a result of that fire. Now PG&E actually ended up reporting to the California Public Utilities Commission that its equipment may have been involved in the start of the big Dixie fire. And earlier this year, PG&E Vice President said on camera that PG&E power lines started the 2019 Kincaid fire, which injured four people and destroyed hundreds of homes in Sonoma County. Cal Fire also said in a report this year that the deadly Zog fire in 2020 was sparked after a pine tree hit PG&E distribution lines. These lines should Obviously be underground, the fact that they're above ground is a huge problem, that's very clear. But PG&E isn't gonna spend the money necessary to update their equipment and do the right thing. You would need regulation, you would need actual leadership on a state level to make that happen. Are we gonna get that state leadership? Of course not. Gavin Newsom has taken campaign contributions from PG&E, so have the Democratic lawmakers in this state. But don't worry, PG&E and Gavin Newsom want to ensure that you don't focus on them. And. You know, I always wondered why does Gavin Newsom talk about climate change so much? I mean, he clearly doesn't care about climate change because he keeps allowing for more and more permits for drilling, right? Over 8,000 so far. Over 8,000, exactly. The reason why he wants to focus on climate change is because that's his way of deflecting from his personal role in allowing PG&E to get away with murder, literally. <laughs> I mean, it's it's insane. Well, there are three culprits and I'll run through them quickly. First, it's one of them is triggered by a comment in our member section. Go to tyt.com slash join and do the show with us. The good doctor wrote in, I get that the planet is on fire, but Mr. Potato Head and Dr. Seuss. Um, so that's culprit number one is the right wing who says, don't worry about it. Worry about Dr. Seuss books. Mr. Potato Head. Exactly. And so, uh, and when you tell them, look, 99% of the world scientists agree about climate change, they go, no, science is garbage. Tucker Carlson and Donald Trump have it all figured out. So that's that's the folks we're dealing with here, and that's why we're frozen into in an action. Now, but let's go over to the Democrats. They're just as bad in a lot of ways. There's good progressives now that are Democrats that actually do care and they don't take any corporate PAC money. So they're the only unbribed politicians in this whole country. They're the only ones, that's why they're the only ones fighting for us. But the corporate Democrats, which is the majority of Democrats, are horrible. Gavin Newsom is an excellent example of that. He goes and takes a hero picture in Greenville mm -hmm. after it's already burnt to the ground. And he's like looking like this into the distance. You know, he's doing blue steel into the distance as if he cares. And Greenville will be with you. No, it's too late. Greenville's gone. What do you mean we're gonna be with you? Your buddies at PG&E burnt it to the ground. There, there is no more, hey, we'll be with you, Greenville. It literally doesn't exist, okay? So why do I say his buddies at PG&E? Throughout his political career, Gavin Newsom, a Democrat, has taken $10 million from PG&E. Those are all bribes and they got exactly what they paid for. They got a corrupt politician like Gavin Newsom that let him get away with if we're being honest about it, murder, they were convicted of it. So it's not hyperbole. In this case, they, there was a conviction that they, the PG&E's negligence led to the deaths of those 84 people. And now more people are dying. And, and yet, when Gavin Newsom was asked about all the campaign donations that he's taken from PG&E and the non-regulation that he's done of them, he's let them run wild. That's right, he bailed them place. out, he bailed them out, he bailed them out, he bailed PG&E out. Guys, you have to understand something. You can't have the wires uh, uh, out, uh, it has to be buried. You can't have them on the 
like the, the post that we have now, right? Trees fall on, and in this case, in this fire, it looks like a tree fell on one of the wires, which is the most, literally the most predictable thing on earth. Everybody knows, that's why in Europe they bury the wires, right? And PG&E says, yes, but that'll cost me a little extra money. And what costs me less money is bribing Gavin Newsom. And almost every other Democrat, and certainly all the Republicans, that costs me a lot less money. And, and corruption works. And so now, the last culprit is the media. Did you know, other than our show, that PG&E had uh, bribed uh, Gavin Newsom $10 million? Did you, uh, did, has any, does anybody else call it a bribe? No, the, it, very few outlets that report it say it's campaign contributions. It's okay, Supreme Court legalized bribery, so it's okay. It's not okay, it's not okay. When those corporations give a politician money, especially that much money, every actual person knows that's a bribe. Why is it that our media are the only ones who purposely lie to you and say, no, it's not a bribe? No, Gavin Newsom is not at fault. Gavin Newsom is a wonderful, amazing Democrat who cares about climate change. Look, look, he's talking about climate change. He's such a good guy. Yeah, why do you go along with his fraud? What, like, so the, today he's out there sweeping up trash that the homeless left behind, I believe, in, in Berkeley, okay? And again, hero shot. He's like throwing away garbage and he's like, ah, yeah, man, blue steel the whole way. Mm -hmm. And the press doesn't go, hey, you schmuck, you're the one that caused this mess. They just, Put it out there like, oh, Gavin Newsom, he is helping so much with the homeless and with climate change, because he said so. And I am I work for him, so I wrote it down, so that all of you are tricked into it. By the way, as we say this now, Gavin Newsom's in the middle of a recall effort. And if the press gets word of what we're saying, they will yell at us and say, "Oh, I guess you're trying to hurt Democrats, huh? Hey, idiots, you're in the press, you're not supposed to be partisan. You're giving away the game, okay? We hate that game, we don't play that game. That's why the media can't stand us. They're like, how dare you say that about a beloved Democrat? Well, I just said it, he's terribly corrupt and it, you know, and he's gotten himself in this mess of a recall, which isn't gonna make anything better because if a Republican comes out winning, the situation is gonna get even worse and that's the state of America and California as we have it. If you hear anything else from the mainstream media as usual, they're lying to help the powerful. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.